Mario Oliveres is at the controls of a new piece of super strong equipment at the Marine Group Boat Works in San Diego, California. It's just like a remote control car. S same thing, just more buttons. Guess what, a lot of responsibilities. <laughs> Mario is piloting the latest model Marine travel lift, one of only three in the world. Its cargo, the California Spirit, a 440-ton charter yacht that can accommodate 600 passengers. It barely taxes the capacity of the world's strongest mobile yacht hoist that not only lifts, but also transports its cargo. The biggest boat we've lifted in terms of length would be uh, a private yacht named Ronin, which was 193 feet long. That's owned by Larry Ellison, uh, founder of Oracle. That boat's probably worth somewhere in the 40 to 60 million dollar range. Whether you call them super yachts, mega yachts, or giga yachts, oversized recreational boats are the latest trend. This year alone, there's 600 yachts over 150 feet currently under construction worldwide. Ten years ago, these boats didn't exist. This market didn't exist. With outsized boats came the need for an outsized pick-me-up. The Marina Boat Works keeps three different size lifts on hand. The smallest can handle boats up to 25 tons. The midsize is capable of lifting 100 tons. The largest and strongest hoist handles boats up to 665 tons, moving them around the shipyard like bathtub toys. So how did it get the California Spirit up in the air and moving? It's actually as simple as it looks. The machine drives out on the finger piers. We lower the straps down into the water deep enough such that the boat can drive in. We then adjust our straps to a point where we know it's safe to lift the boat, and then we hoist away on the straps. Here we go. The straps are pulled into position by over a thousand feet of inch and a half galvanized steel triple braided cables, which hoist the boat at seven inches per minute. The machine's lifting strength comes from hydraulics, not horsepower. The motor is very simple. It's a 400 horsepower turbocharged John Deere, which runs a large hydraulic pump. And then all the motors that control the winches, the wheels, the steering, everything's hydraulic. The engine turns at 1,800 revolutions per minute, pumping hydraulic fluid to a series of valves which control where the fluid is directed. When the hoist valve is open, the flow of hydraulic fluid is forced through a system of stainless steel tubing to the winch, which it turns, lifting the boat. Once the boat is aloft, the operator guides the marine travel lift at one mile per hour. The wireless remote control allows him to steer the massive front and rear wheels independently. There are 16 wheels. They're approximately nine feet tall. They run at about 140 PSI in comparison to a car that runs at about 35 PSI. And they're capable of bearing the weight of both the machine itself, which is about a million pounds, and then the weight of its cargo, which can be upwards of 1.3 million pounds. Wheeling a large craft around a boat yard for maintenance isn't a new idea. The marine travel lift first appeared in boat yards in 1958 with a self-propelled hoist that could lift a whopping seven tons. The ingenious concept of a mobile hoist revolutionized boat handling. Outmoding the dry dock, the traditional method of maritime repair. But no one could have foreseen the three million dollar giant in use today in San Diego Harbor. Just getting it assembled was a major logistical effort. The machine was built by Marine Travel Lift in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, and came across country on 19 semis, piece by piece. And then we brought in two 175 ton cranes uh, and started the assembly process, which ended up taking a little under four weeks. This Marine Travel Lift has transported dozens of boats at up to $10,000 a lift. But few have tested its metal. Then it got a big surprise. This boat was launched in the early 70s as a replica vessel to be used for training purposes. It got purchased by 20th Century Fox to uh, film the movie Master and Commander, Far Side of the World with Russell Crowe. And then they sold it to the San Diego Maritime Museum about three years ago. Well, she's tipping the scales right now at uh, 1,062,000 pounds. So she's about 530 tons. 
After moving the lift into place, Mario and his team begin linking the heavy nylon straps beneath the boat at critical stress points along the hull. The ship's captain watches anxiously. Well, any wooden boat, you got to be very careful of them because they, there's so many pieces held together by so many smaller pieces and just racking them around uh, isn't good. The ship slowly begins to lift. The blocks that support her are knocked free. I feel better when she's back in the water. She's out of her element right now, and the sooner she's floating again, the happier I'll be. Due to the ship's position in the boatyard, the marine travel lift will need to make a 180 degree turn to place the surprise in the launching slip. It's heavy. It's over 500 ton, and we gotta be, just be careful of making the turn. It's a little bit tight. Our big machine runs with a crew of five men, one operator and, and four helpers, and they can lift a, a 600 ton boat out with saying 10 words to each other. A lot of hand signals, they just know what comes next and they know what they expect of each other. The crew negotiates the turn without incident. And Mario maneuvers the ship out over the finger piers, where it's lowered into the water. The captain and bosun decide to let the surprise rest in the straps overnight and adjust to her return to the sea. Okay. As long as there are no major leaks right now, just leave it the way, just leave it the way it is. The water will swell the wood and tighten her seams as she awaits a rising tide. As the rich tend to get richer, the marine travel lift won't stop growing anytime soon. I think they're gonna get bigger and bigger. Marine Travel Lift is actually talking about a concept of running two machines in consist, where I could now bring another 665 ton machine in and set it up on a electrical system along with this machine, which would allow us to pick up 1,200 tons with two machines. This lift has quickly become a requisite tool in the maintenance of large seagoing craft. <laughs> 